Hey, it's Paul, and here on The Friendly Viewer, in this video, we're going to take a look at the ESR Tempered Glass Screen Protector for the iPhone X. Before we begin, though, make sure to subscribe so you can watch more videos just like this one, and also check out the description so you can find a link to this screen protector so you can get them for yourself. Now let's get in the review. This is the ESR iPhone X Screen Protector. Made of tempered glass, it can withstand 22 pounds of force. It is priced well, as you can find it in most places for under $10. It comes in a nice hard case, and the case can come in handy since it comes with two screen protectors. In the case, you'll find the installation guide, two cleaning sets, two screen protectors, and the instructions. Installation was pretty simple and standard. You first use a wet wipe to clean off the screen, then you dry off the screen with the included cloth. Next, you place the installation guide on the phone, the guide looks to be centered and doesn't cover up any of the screen. Then you use the sticker to make sure all the dust is removed. Next, you peel off the film from the screen protector and place it in the guide. The guide should align the screen protector just perfectly onto the viewable portion of the screen. Press the screen protector in the middle to make sure it sticks, and then pull off the guide. Now you can work out all the bubbles. I noticed that there really weren't many bubbles at all, and this worked very quickly, so I was pretty impressed by this. There were a couple little pieces of dust that I missed if you look very closely. So either I missed them or the pieces of dust stuck onto that screen protector in between when I peeled off the back and I put it on the phone. But either way, they don't really look too bad and they're very, very small. And there's only about two or three of them. If I want to try again, I do have another screen protector for round two. Looking even closer at the installation, it is just slightly off-centered by maybe a fraction of a millimeter. This isn't an issue at all, but I'm just pointing it out because I can see it if I look extremely close. It covers exactly the screen with maybe just that fraction of a millimeter extra on the one side, but it does cover exactly where the screen ends on the other side. No more and no less. It doesn't provide any extra protection for that front facing camera at the top where the notch is, except for just the thickness of that screen protector around it to help protect it. But I guess the good news is it's not going to interfere with it, which some people are pretty worried about. You may be wondering how much abuse can this screen protector take before it cracks. Please do not try this at home as you can hurt your eyes and create a lot of sharp pieces of glass that are going to go flying everywhere. This one should hold up pretty well. As you can see, it had to bend nearly all the way back on itself before it finally broke. And when it broke, it broke indeed. You wouldn't want this to happen anywhere except a controlled environment. Overall, I'm happy with the screen protector and I'd recommend it to you as well. This tempered glass screen protector had only a couple little issues. Uh, the one was it's just ever so slightly off-centered, but you'd have to get a micrometer out to measure that. It still covers the viewable part of the screen. There's a couple little spots here where I got dust in it during the installation. Really, you can't even hardly see them unless you zoom in very closely. And as soon as the screen's actually on, you can't see it at all. And other than that, I really don't notice any problems with it. There's some screen protectors out there that you'll have an issue whenever you look through it. It makes it look a little bit different. Uh, don't really notice that at all. So I'm pretty happy with it and would recommend it. This has been Paul with the ESR Screen Protector. Thank you for watching.